Hi everyone, I'm back today with another tutorial about how to create pattern filled font. And this is a fun way to add interest um, to blog post photos or to graphics you're creating or maybe for your site header or logos. Um, it's just really fun. And um, I'm going to be using Photoshop Elements today because um, if you are a small business owner or a um, uh, entrepreneur who's just getting started in the online world and you don't want to invest in um, a Creative Cloud subscription, which can get really pricey, I think Photoshop Elements is an awesome alternative. Um, it's only about 60 or 70 bucks on Amazon and um, it has a lot of functionality and it's very full featured and I personally think it's a great alternative to Photoshop if you are just getting started. Now if you are a designer or you are in graphic design school or you're a professional photographer or professional designer, obviously you're going to probably want to go ahead and make that investment. But if you are just starting out, I think this is an awesome alternative. So I want to share this tutorial for you guys who are just getting started so you can create some cool graphics for your site. Okay, so getting started, I'm gonna pretend like we're just starting from scratch. So you open up Photoshop Elements um, and we're in the advanced mode. There's um, like a quick mode here at the top, then guided, and then expert mode. So you wanna be in expert mode. So I'm just gonna create a new blank file and I'll just call this my pattern filled font. Um, you can create it however big you want. I sometimes err on the side of making it bigger rather than smaller because you can always um, reduce the size later on if you want, but um, you can't make it bigger. So um, I'm going to make this a thousand pixels wide by, um, we'll just say like 400, 400 pixels tall. Um, and this is perfect for what I'm trying to do. Um, I already have a pattern. This is like a glitter pattern um, that I want to fill my font with. You can see it's pretty cool, pretty funky. Um, so I am just going to go ahead and um, create my pattern filled font. So click on the photo bin in the lower left and find your pattern, which should be open, and drag it onto here. Um, so for purposes of this tutorial, obviously the pattern is not as big as my canvas, so I have a couple options. I can either drag another one on, which is what I'm going to do for this tutorial, just drag it on again. Um, or you can duplicate the layer, which is over, uh, over here in the layers panel. Just um, right click and say duplicate layer. So you can do that as well. It's up to you. Um, so now your pattern is on your canvas. Next thing I'm going to do is click the text type tool um, and type my text. So I'll just type font for my example. And I would like this to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to bump it up even a little bit more, maybe like 150, just so you guys can see really clearly what I'm doing. Um, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So our next step is I'm going to merge these three pattern layers. So I just selected all three of them. And you right click and you say merge layers. And that just reduces it down into one layer. The next thing you're going to do is click on the text layer and go to layer simplify layer. You could also right click to do that too. Um, but I went to the layer drop down. So the next thing you're going to do is click this little wand tool, this little star wand, and um, make sure you have your font layer selected or your text layer selected on the right, and click on the black part of your text or click on like the text part. And then to add the next letter, you're going to right click and say add to selection. So just right click on each letter and add to selection. Okay, your next step is to right click and say select inverse. So this basically, we had the font selected, the text selected, and now the gold 
um, background pattern is selected. So click on your gold layer now on the right hand side and click delete. Um, and now that is gone. So the next thing you're going to do is click on your font layer and you can either just hide it by clicking that little eyeball or you can click delete and delete that font layer. Oops. Yes. So that is it. You ha now have your pattern filled font. I'm going to crop this down. I'm just going to say image crop. Um, and the last thing I want to do, which is kind of nice, is to outline this with um, just a plain outline so that it's a little easier to see. So I'm going to select this magic wand tool again and click on the empty background. And if you have any letters that have um, fill like a center part. I don't know the official type term for that. Click on that too. So add to selection just like you did a couple seconds ago. And then go to edit, stroke outline. And you can choose how thick you want the outline to be and the color. Um, and just click OK. And so now you have a nicely outlined um, font that you can use for graphics or on your website. So I hope this tutorial was fun for you guys and I hope this spices up your photos and your graphics and your blog images and your logos. Please feel free to leave any questions in the comment section or contact um, me at info at builditsociety.com with any questions. Thanks for watching.